I think it's funny how, despite the Earthbound fandom being one of the nicest communities I've ever met on the internet, some with the most creativity and drive I've ever seen in a fan base, they're always so up in arms about the way you pronounce the name of the first town in the game. Like, I just find it funny that people get so angry about this and, like, it's legitimate, unironic arguing about this in comment sections. It's like no matter what Let's Play you're watching, like, once they get to this town, if you if you look at the comments, there's people complaining about the way they said it. So anyways, I was up to my demonic stuff again, and decided to make a post on YouTube and Twitter asking people in a poll, and inevitably got a ton of different answers, some even different from the choices I put in the poll. So why the hell is this so confusing for people? So let's take a look at some of these pronunciations and see if we can figure it out. So, among Earthbound fans, there are three main contenders for what the pronunciation should be. We'll call them the big three, that, that's their name in the industry. These three pronunciations are Onet, Onet, and Onet. So, let's just go through these one by one. So, let's start with Onet. It definitely makes sense on a phonetic level. Like, I think most people have gravitated towards one pronunciation because that was the first way they heard it pronounced. And I have a strong feeling that people who pronounce it on it are more than likely people who encountered it first when playing the game. Because I mean, come on, look at it, it looks like it says on it. On it. However, most of us understand that American English isn't the most consistent language. And yes, even though the game was originally written in Japanese with Japanese pronunciation, the whole thing about the game is that it takes place in a contemporary American setting, which gives some levity to this argument. And it also definitely carries some weight being one of the two official quote-unquote pronunciations. But we'll come back to this. Onto the pronunciation one at, I mean at a surface level, this one looks like it would be the most right, right? I was even a strong proponent of this pronunciation for the longest time. Look, M, I appreciate it. Uh, then wh why don't you say two -san? Why don't you say threed? Why don't you say fo -ur -san? No, you say... You say four side because it's like the numbers. That's I'm not, gross. I'm that, not that old guy just wanted me to hit on a little girl for him. That's that's a that's a little Aww. boy. Because this one's quite clearly playing into the naming scheme of the towns throughout the game. One at, two son, three, four side, so on. But the spelling just doesn't support this. If we are going off of phonetics like on it. In this context, the O just doesn't make the W sound. And if you are really passionate about having that blatant one sound in the word, you would end up pronouncing it like want. Which I don't even feel comfortable saying for some reason. Across both polls, this was the least popular answer, and although I see why, it still surprises me quite a bit. Well, as always, not 100% of the time in the English language, the double T suggests a stressed second syllable, which suggests that the latter part of the name is meant to be pronounced net, like a bug catching net. I've also seen places like the Earthbound Wiki say, oh, net is Swedish for one, which supports the fact that this is like something about the one naming scheme at that. It's like, what, what are you talking about? And finally, the pronunciation onet. When initially looking at this pronunciation, it contains a lot of the attributes that the pronunciation on it does. It's considered to be one of the two official pronunciations. It checks out phonetically. And the second syllable of net also checks out. But if it is the case that this is, quote, the right pronunciation, why doesn't it check out with the consistency of the other cities? Some have made claims that this is part of the joke, that this one town not sounding like the rest of them is meant to be, like, ironic or something, but I don't think this is the case. I have another theory. The first part to my theory is simply that's just the way the Japanese language works. To keep this as simple as I can, basically the pronunciation of vowels in the Japanese language is just different from the way it is in English. So because of this, basically it's meant to be pronounced onet or onet. That is the way it was intended when it was written. But between the two, I still say onet is more correct, and I'll tell you why. Yeah, so all of this language barrier stuff aside, that still doesn't solve the problem of the inconsistency with the naming scheme. Or does it? What if I told you it actually does still work with the naming scheme? and even possibly suggest some hidden lore and history to the world of Eagle Land, albeit accidentally most likely. To answer this question, we have to take it back to the 1600s, where if Ness and his friends were ever caught using their witchcraft they do, they'd be burned at the stake. Basically, around this period in the English language, there was something known as the Great Vowel Shift. Basically, by the 16th century, English spelling was becoming increasingly out of step with the pronunciation, owing mainly to the fact that printing was fixing in its late Middle English form just when various sound changes were having a far-reaching effect on pronunciation. 
The biggest changes this had on the English language were mostly in the form of the I, E, and A sounds, but did leave their ramifications on the other vowels as well, including on the word one. So believe it or not, in early modern English, the word one was actually pronounced much like the word own. This means, by technicality, if you were to say Onet was a town that was, for example, founded in a much earlier point in England's history, possibly even towards the beginning of its history, akin to places like Jamestown, then you could say the pronunciation Onet is a tribute both to the history and its founding name, as well as possibly explaining why the signs say things along being the first town, Tucson, we weren't here first. It's also important to remember that a toy is extremely well read, so this connection isn't the least likely thing in the world. And this explanation elaborates a lot on the history of Eagle Land, which is a clear satire of the United States, so it's not really that much of a stretch to say the history parallels the United States somewhat. This pronunciation, while most likely on accident, gives the world a bit more history and mythology. It enriches the game world and the experience for me, which is why I now say Onet. Look, I'm not trying to get all MatPat on you with the levels of speculation I'm making, but not only, again, is this pronunciation one of the two official ones, it just also explains away the problems people have with the other pronunciations. But to be honest, after all this research, I have to say it ends up making sense why people get so up in arms about this debate. Words have meaning. They're the fundamental building blocks for society and communication. Communication can be seen all over the world, but at its core, our level of depth and understanding of communication is what separates us from every other type of being in the world. And I would know, I'm a monkey. Without any level of understanding or communicating or agreement with each other on what words mean, we might as well just be trying to build the Tower of Babel, struggling to get anything done at all and just destroying ourselves. And most importantly, it's important to be able to understand each other so that you can mislead people to clicking a Silva Gunner video so that when they think they're listening to Pollyanna, they hear this. Oh, you are a mother! <laughs>